This is Minecraft's most impressive city. Okay, it's big and it's beautiful, and although I want to showcase those elements of it, I also want to see what it's really like to build something like this, and so in today's video, I look at the to-do list, I jump on a bed with the founder, and I commit a crime. Hey, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be showing you an entire city build in Minecraft, as well as exactly how it came about. But first, let me show you the thing that blew my mind the most. It is the logo. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is Cubed, a collaborative project founded by Alpine One. And today, I figured I would chat with him about exactly how this all came together. Give me, give me from the beginning. Sure. Um, so... Yeah, I've been playing Minecraft since I was in middle school, about 2013-ish. Uh, started on Pocket Edition and then jumped over to Java in 2014, 2015. Yeah, eventually like jumped around different creative servers. Uh, I was inspired by Corellis um, and then eventually landed on Cubed. And then, you know, I've been building cities and realistic buildings ever since. So that kind of inspired me to get my degree in architectural engineering. So it's similar to architecture, but it's like the technical side of architecture and the building side of civil engineering. And it kind of bridges that gap. Uh -huh. um, so. Went, got my degree, I graduated this past April, and now I'm working as an airport planner. So it's pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to, you show off like the builds for the new things you're planning in Minecraft, right? Like you're like, here's the oh, new yeah. terminal extension we need. Let me, let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we are actually working on an airport and by working, I mean, I'm still very much in the planning phase. Nothing's built yet. Um, but yeah, so I'm. I'm actually getting my uh, my boss and coworkers to uh, check out the the airport plans that I come up with, just to critique it. A lot of my videos, it's very much based on you know realistic engineering, architecture, and urban planning theory. Oh, cool. I like to apply it. So, yeah, you had quite the uh, string of attention recently. It seems I <laughs> have to imagine that feels good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing YouTube since uh, about. September 2020. Uh, during COVID, I was I was working full time. Awesome. Um, yeah. It, it's it does it. Would you say the YouTube is the first and the server is kind of the secondary to that then, rather than the other way around? I I actually started with the server, so I think I've been on here since about 2015 or so. And Cube is actually the reason why I decided to pursue architectural engineering. So that that's kind of my background. Uh, if we want if we want to jump in this portal here. The, yep. But yeah, if, if you come over this way and you stand on this block here yep, and look this way. So yeah, you have the ND assign. Yep. You have all that loaded in there. And if you fly up and towards it. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love that. That. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, That's... That's a moment right there. Wow. Yeah, that how how did you do that? Did you did it take a lot of trial and error or did you do you have like a was Yeah, a so that was useful? So this was created by one of our staff members Wade. Uh, he actually did this all by hand. So he built the sign flat and then I think he he stood in one place like where this block is and yeah. then I think he just moved them back and he said I think it took him like 3 days just to make the sign. So, I think if we head this way Lots of cool buildings here. Uh, our road specialists, they're very, very good at what they do. They do the vast majority of our roads. You've got cycle lanes. That no one ever does that for their Minecraft cities. That's fun. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to be able to bike everywhere. <laughs> very, very important. So nice. some of this still is a work in progress. Uh, we do have the greenery on the sides of the roads, uh, but we still do need to add a lot of trees, but the city is so huge that it's just going to take forever. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. And then oh. if we get to this road and we come down on the right side, uh, we start to get into the marina area. So we have lots of boats ranging from very, very small to some yachts and then a couple of cruise ships as well. Oh yeah, yeah, the cruise ships is uh Yeah. That's a that's a classic. Is is this a cruise ship here, right? Or is this a oh no wait, there's a lot of boats. This is not. Oh yeah, wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing how silly it was for me to suggest that, that might be a cruise ship. <laughs> Looking over there now. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay, so I 
I thought first, like, okay, there's a couple of nice boats here. There's a lot of boats in this marina. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. Oh, wow. If you go far enough off the coast, there are some pirate ships, I believe. But I don't know where they are. Here's the first cruise ship, I have to assume. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is the smaller of the two. Wow. For, for stuff like these cabins, because it's like duplicate one to the other, do you use a mm -hmm. command to just copy paste it over? Or... Yeah, yeah. So this was built by one of our retired staff members. Uh, I believe a lot of the cabins on the edge are identical. And yeah, you can use world edits and essentially just stack them. So it does make it quite a bit easier. Uh, but if we fly up and in the center parts, there is a very unique mall and it is quite interesting up here. Okay, so okay. surprisingly yeah. featured in here. First of all, yeah. Right. Figured that it'll be kind of empty on the inside, but this is actually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's lots, lots of good stuff. Okay. But yeah, uh, this, is, this is all built by one person, which is really incredible. Yeah, I have to agree. Yeah, I have to agree. You can come in here. You can chill in the pool. So sometimes I do that when I'm trying to think of a new build. <laughs> you just sit in the pool <laughs> for like yeah, in a yeah. hot tub. Creativity tank, I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I, I mean, there's engines, engine rooms in here. There, there's lots of good stuff. But uh, if we actually want to head to the second cruise ship, it is larger and it is more recent. I've only recently been on a cruise ship for the first time. This looks exactly like the one I was on. I'm like, oh, nice, but fooled by it. Royal. Maybe that's why it looks the same. It might be the same. Oh yeah, is it, yeah. Is both it... of these are based on 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 real life ships. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Igloo. Igloo's the name of the the builder. I forget uh, forget the name of the ship. You probably remember, it, but that's all right. Yeah, it's uh, I'm, that's exact. It must be. I feel like all the ships from the same company. Are, yeah, it's. I've, I've been in this ice skating arena. I've seen seen people trip over multiple times. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. Okay, we're in Monstra now. Monster, yeah. So th this is my neighborhood. This is my project that I've been working on for a while. Uh -huh. uh, it's loosely based on New York, Montreal, Vancouver, and a bit of Toronto. I'm from Vancouver, but I visited all of the other cities. Uh, so lots of skyscrapers and very high density. Yeah, I, that's what that's the cool thing about uh, Vancouver in particular, as it's very dense in the, the center. I'm turning to your apartment right now. Show me, sure. Show me the closest so we'll thing. So we'll go this way. Yeah. Absolutely one apartment that I've been working on. Oh, so okay. this is a rooftop that I made for a video and it is in this building. So yeah, nice. you know, nice place to barbecue. You can have something to eat, it's pretty good. But yeah. then if you come in here and we go down here, one floor, this is my apartment. And I actually do some of my planning in here. Ah. This is, this is my, my top secret room. <laughs> So this is the, the bedroom, little little closet over there. And what I did with these trap doors is you can open and close them if you want more or less sunlight. Ah. So little, little details. So the light is dynamic and will go down when you do that? Or Sometimes, like yeah. If you, do, if you do have shaders, uh, then, you know, if you set the time of day, I think to probably like 5 or 6 p.m., then you do get the sunlight in here. Uh, but it's mostly just in the morning when you do want some extra natural light. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. So is this actually based on your real life apartment? No, it's actually based on my brother's apartment. He doesn't know that. So if he watches this, <laughs> oh, this dox him with Minecraft. Very... Yeah, right. That's funny. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I like yeah. the, yeah, like all the buildings on the street have very different facades, but they fit together quite nicely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually what I do for a lot of my buildings. So these three buildings right here, these brick ones yeah. and these brick ones across the streets. And these two white ones here, they're actually the same building. I just changed the roof, I changed the height, and I changed the material. And that way you can get multiple buildings and build much, much faster. Okay. So just a tiny noticing thing here. You got uh, 
segregated bike lane out the front here, and as opposed to just drawn on. You know, clearly oh, yeah. prioritizing that bike infrastructure in your own neighborhood. Got yeah, absolutely. On here already. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's important to have these barriers as well, too, because uh, you know you, you don't want a bike to get hit. And this is a one-way road, so it's okay just to have it on one side. The fun thing about cities, too, is that, uh, I mean, you, of course, you can get bored with any Minecraft build. Yep. Uh, but with cities, if you do get bored, you can start another neighborhood, either, either in a different place and then connect it later. But uh, you, you have almost an infinite amount of ideas and well, inspiration as well from real life that you can just keep building. Yeah. Um, now, the thing with me is I don't finish 90% of my projects. So if I want to, then I can remove my projects that I worked on years ago and then replace them, too. So there's also that option. That's a uh, surprisingly controversial, like, so I, first of all, I, I'm in the same, like, I can't finish 90% of projects. There's a lot of people who are like, nope, I I will not remove the old projects. I'm, I feel like I'm one of them. I'm like, nope, even if I want to come back in 12 years, I want to have it there. It's almost a, a mark of shame that I will en enforce myself. <laughs> Like we have multiple worlds, uh, so we have a flat world. So if there's a building that I'm, I really, really love, but I just don't really want to finish it, then I will copy it to the flat world. And then if I want to do something with it later, I always have that option. Perfect. Yeah, Sounds there's good. so many individual builds. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's at the point where it's like, man, this is. It must, uh, like, at some point, do you do you centrally plan stuff like this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we do have, or well, we had a master plan uh, for yep. the entire city of India. Uh, and then individually with the neighborhoods, we tend to plan roads and then we'll plan plots. And then we, we have height maps as well. Uh, and we use these things called view corridors. Vancouver uses this quite frequently. Uh, but basically a view corridor is an empty pocket of urban space, uh, like you're just flying through right now, uh, where you're supposed to see certain buildings and, you know, we'll keep certain buildings low. Yeah. Yeah. Makes for a, vis a very visually interesting skyline. I've noticed master plan is used by basically every urban plan thing nowadays. It's like one of those cool new trends that, like, as soon as you spot it, you spot it everywhere. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, like, uh, yeah. It's just more success. Like, people like the idea of the word master plan more than like regular plan. Like, what's the, <laughs> do you know the reason it's come to prominence so much? No, I don't, I don't know if there's any history behind it, but I think I think. The word master plan is just kind of used as an all encompassing term. And then you like, I mean, you have a master plan for the entire thing, just kind of to guide the vision. And then you have individual plans as well that kind of connect underneath up into it. Yeah. Yeah. The, to subsect from the master plan. Yeah. That's... Exactly. But yeah, the view, the view corridor is interesting. So something I've been thinking about recently is how, when you buy a big building, you're not, or buy an apartment in a big building, you're not just buying the right to. The, you know the floating bit of land that you own but really you're buying the right to there not being a floating bit of land around you because you want the view from it so you're kind of buying yeah, like that's... a diagonal piece of land if, in, in a weird way uh, yeah yeah that's true but there are some cities like especially i mean even in new york i i've seen i've seen videos online of somebody say wow look at my amazing view and then three weeks later they're they're starting a building and then <laughs> you know in, in a few months their their view gets blocked which is really unfortunate yeah i can imagine if you have a, I, I, I can imagine that must happen to lots of people. I've never actually, I, I imagine it's surprisingly rare, but yeah, I mm -hmm. feel like they should put it in your, like when you're buying a place like that, it should say, well, someone is trying to build here. And so you better <laughs> watch out. Um, yeah. There's, yeah. There's lots of, there's lots of pieces at play. So uh, yeah. lots of politics as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's that politics angle I'm kind of getting at, but like when you own a regular plot of land, it's like I have the right to say what happens here, more or less. But when, as, as you as we're building higher and higher up, it is genuinely of interest to you what happens anywhere in your site corridor. If they build a giant sewer plant that you can't smell or interact with, but you can see, that does negatively affect your day to day life some tiny percent in a way that it doesn't when you just live on the ground level and can't see it. Yep. Um, yeah, that, that's absolutely true. I know, but I, I think about like the way we design cities and how we have, like the the fact that there are like planning committees that stop so many things from happening, is a really intriguing part of the process of getting things done. To me, like you, it's mm. not just enough to have a good idea for a building; you have to sell it to people who live near it, because they actually, via democracy, have a say in whether it gets done. The shots I'm sure that everyone's seen is the ones from the 
uh, a, fair couple, a couple of news posts of the city from a huge distance away. I was oh, yeah. thinking yeah. we could do that inside of Optifine, but I, I clearly see that 64 is the max. Yeah, unfortunately so, not. What did you use to do that? What's the... So that that was all Adam. Uh, he's the expert at that. Uh, we use the Distant Horizons mods. Uh, if you're up close to a lot of buildings, it doesn't look as great since we're back on 1.14.4. Um, but yeah, he went. He spent probably three hours loading all the chunks because Andea is giant. Uh, I think the island's like 11 kilometers by 11 kilometers, but uh, Distant Horizons mod, that's what he used. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's very, yeah. It works very uh, effectively in showing something that big. Absolutely, yeah. This is the stadium. This is built by Lunar. So it has full interior as well, or 99% full interior. Yeah, fascinating. Looks oh yeah, looks beautiful from the outside. Yeah. Whatever texture you've got on does something really interesting with stained glass too. Yeah. That's a nice, nice effect there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Let's go in. I'll just jump the turn stop. Hey, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then All right. ATM. Oh yeah, custom models here on Cube. We use Cube back. This has been in development since probably 2015-ish. Yeah, lots of good stuff. How many custom models do you have? I noticed you have a special stovetop in the apartment earlier. Yeah, um, a lot. <laughs> I, I, we ran out of blocks to change, uh, so we started doing something with block states, where essentially you can change the, the state of redstone, and then it, you can just change the entire texture. Same thing with no blocks. Wow. Okay, yeah, that I, it makes sense that to get the level of detail you're going for, you yeah. need to do that. I kind of want to look at it with vanilla, like a... I'm, I'm guessing I can do that on my side, just suddenly turn off <laughs> yep. and do that. Oh, it's going to look cool. awful, just by the way. <laughs> yeah. you know, that's always the beauty of it, though, is you can appreciate... Oh, yeah, here we are. Okay, well, honestly, I this to me looks just as charming. Like, less less like a real stadium. Yeah, but it yeah. looks like a <laughs> Minecraft version of a stadium now. That's uh, fair, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, this is a stadium. So, uh, tell me about it. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's been in the works for probably, I'd say about four years. Uh, lots lots of cool stuff. Even around there's, you have underground parking. Uh, you do have lots of furnished areas. You have restaurants. You have some different suites as well, some private suites. But uh, yeah, we have some private suites in here with our oh. custom models and everything. Pretty it's cool. It's very interesting to pick block basically anything around her and just be oh, like, yeah. oh, this is lapis. <laughs> oh, this is a cake. That makes sense actually, but. Yeah, and even with the cake, if you take different numbers of bites out of it, then I don't think you can do it right now, but it changes to different blocks. Like, I think if you take three bites out of it, it's a fire hydrant. Oh, yeah, so you've really started using every version of every block. Absolutely. Dream. Our pack developers are incredible. Yeah, it's, that's, that's a clever way to do it in vanilla without having to add any extra blocks. Does that mean you get excited when a new update comes out? Because you can change oh, yeah. X number of new blocks. Oh, actually, wait, yeah. 1.14. Maybe it's... Uh, I do... So that... Why Why is it 1.14, actually? I, I, I'll take a quick question to... to a second yeah. to ask that. Yeah, so... In 1.14, uh, Mojang has one by one by 256 block tall biomes. However, in any version above that, they change that to four by four, I believe. Um, so a lot of our textures are also dependent on biome. So if you change the biome, then you completely change the texture as well. So that multiplies the amount of textures we have. So I think I could be wrong, but because of the new biome command, I think you can do one block biomes again in 1.20 or 1.21. Uh, mm. Obviously at this point, you've probably got very deeply committed, but am I, am I right <laughs> about that? Or is it not something you've considered a lot looked into? Yeah, I think it? if... I, don't, I personally have not looked into it, um, but assuming we do get those one by one blocks, then yeah, that, it could be something to upgrade. But uh, the issue becomes now that we're in this city 
and we'd have to update those biomes. We believe that it would mess up most textures and we'd have to redo most of the city. So I think the plan is to, and sorry, cube staff, if I get this wrong, but I think the plan is to uh, keep building the city until it's done and then potentially look at upgrading. Uh, okay. That's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's probably the better order in which to do it rather than to create yeah. a whole new hassle for yourself. Yeah. Okay. So very, very fun that this is a fully fledged stadium. There's, there's all oh, sorts yeah. of corners you'd never look at, but they're still, still properly fleshed out here. I like that a lot. Oh. Yeah, got, there's lots of cool stuff. Something fun on the laptop here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, I think this, I don't know if this website still works or not, but it might. Oh, the Redstone Comparator is a different TV based on which state it's into. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you can make whole computer setups, too. You can have monitors. Uh, you can have a keyboard. You can have a mouse. Ev everything you could possibly want. Wow. Yeah. There we go. So welcome to Southern Marina. We have a nice hammerhead shark right beside the spawn here. Ah, oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, so this is sort of a, a French-inspired seaside town. Oh. Yeah. That's uh, we had... interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we had an old project that was essentially somebody just building Paris, but it was from probably 2016-ish. Uh, so what I did is I stole their buildings and I used them as templates for the ones that are in place right now. And then we just built over them, but we used them just to kind of shape the area. So this was originally Paris, but you've turned it into a South of France, Mediterranean, French, Riviera kind of uh, thing instead. And yes, then, yeah. So, okay. Is it is it hard for you to switch from kind of what you know with North American style architecture into what you probably do know less with, say, France, where you have to base it on a little less real experience and a bit more, you know, cultural and everything else? Yes, uh, it is very difficult. Uh, I did not build it. any of this. I, I, I just made the shapes, I made the waterfronts, uh, I did a lot of the planning, uh, but a lot of our very, very talented builders have done most of this work for us. I feel like something about Minecraft cities, uh, just, just to my eye, not being objective here, but it feels like they work better for European style builds in a slightly easier than they do for skyscrapers. That's again, it might, might be my bias being from Europe. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, looking at these houses back there and then comparing them to these skyscrapers, I'm like, you know, these are nice builds. These are really great examples of their craft. It's yeah, just something yeah. about that where I'm like, I want to go explore that town. <laughs> it's here, I'm like, oh god, what's in the building? Yeah. I bet it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Because uh, uh, I mean, a, a lot of European cities they are much more walkable than North American cities. Uh, yeah. But yeah, North North American is just what I I grew up with. I've I've never been outside of North America yet. If oh, somebody never. wants oh. to give you some money, that'd be great. So, audience, if anybody's watching, I have PayPal. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so. I built this one probably 2016-ish. The interior, never finished it, surprise. But this is based on a piano, this glass here. And then I wanted to do some crazy curve with it. Oh, wow. So it's not a real yeah. world building. You just took a piano as an idea and were like, I'll make that into a building. Exactly, yeah. More, more of an experimental build. You should design some real world buildings with logic. That That feels like exactly what you'd hear is the inspiration for some beautiful opera house somewhere. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm surprised you're playing Minecraft. You, I I feel like you instead of <laughs> like w w next time you submit your CV somewhere, you just got to attach, you know, one of your Minecraft projects. Be like, look. Oh, I, yeah, so I, I work as an airport planner, so I, I actually I actually did. They my coworkers, yeah. They love my Minecraft builds. It's oh, actually part wow. of the reason why I got okay. hired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was semi joking when you said you showed it but you actually did help yeah you. wow oh yeah okay. yeah yeah even with youtube stuff as well i, I mean uh, i'm an airport planner so i i work a lot with analytics and data 
Uh, so even just working on the analytics side of YouTube, mentioned that a couple of times and they're like, wow, very cool. Uh, do you have any airports in this world? Sorry, just uh, let's, if we could have, if there was uh, one last thing, do you have, do you have a, any planes, any airports, any aerospace see. infrastructure? Let me double check. So we don't have an airport right now, uh, but oh. I can bring you to our asset world. So, okay, don't. There's a lot of meme stuff going on. Um, <laughs> you, you may you may have to blur some of the signs. Oh, just that's fun. No, that's great. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm here for. Oh, you get some British Airways planes over that. Nice. Yeah, some trains, and then a sculpture of my face for some reason. I don't know. Did you make it? I don't know how that. Someone else. I did not. Oh, that's that's. It just kind of appears amazing. sometimes. I'm looking for things to blur right now. I'm, I was I was excited. There's no. <laughs> no, it's mo it's mostly mostly the size. Uh, um, I don't, actually, they're not too bad. Okay, yeah, this is no, nothing too yeah. terrible. This is a sign you sure about that. She said, <laughs> nice bench design, bench. <laughs> okay, no, never mind. They're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, here we go. Oh, Alpina's apparently this is your mom. <laughs> <laughs> my to-do list, apparently. <laughs> so we got some trains, got some planes. Uh, we did start to design a check-in over this way oh so you are actually pre-building an airport basically and then you're just gonna let sort of yeah uh, yeah so i think i think we're we're gonna keep the facade here uh so this right here would be the curb so it'd be outside going in so i think we're gonna keep this wall uh but the insides uh, i was doing a lot of planning and yeah i think it's way too big so i, I think i'm probably gonna redo a lot of it uh yeah i see wow this is this is an impressive amount for like an airport that is in zero like that you would describe <laughs> as not existing in the world. There's so much thought and effort in here already. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea behind this airport is to make it, and I'm using air quotes, the best airport in Minecraft. Although that is up for viewer discretion. Uh, but you know, since I worked as an airport planner and I, I do have people reviewing it that are also airport planners, uh, I'm adding a lot of essentially fake data that we're making up and then using that to guide our design decisions. Ah, that's so, a clever way to make something realistic. But... Yeah, it's like a very, very, very hardcore way of doing it. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost like the whole, uh, the way Tolkien made Lord of the Rings by making all the fake languages first. He's like, it makes <laughs> the world have more depth. It's exactly, like no yeah. Choose to do that, but it does actually work. You do get more depth yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah, that way when I decide to make videos on it, then you know, I hope they'll be very good videos, and I hope that you know it, it made it might inspire somebody to go into airport planning. Yeah, almost. I I feel like anything in Minecraft can inspire people, but something in Minecraft done well, and especially the way you're doing it, is gonna make people. It's gonna tickle people who have a similar itch. Uh, they're gonna be like, absolutely. Oh, I would love to solve that problem. Yeah, because this, this, the exact same thing happened to me, you know, when I was watching Corellis when I was in middle school. So I was inspired to start building. So I, I hope to do the same to others. Yeah, it's wild how many people have picked a career basically through Minecraft or at least for a video Absolutely. game to go even broader. Uh, but I guess at some 100%. point it's like, how else are you going to pick a career? Until, <laughs> until some inspiration somewhere. That's true. And I know, I know there's, uh, there's a lot of people that have gone into computer science because of coding minecraft mods or plugins yeah that's that that it, there's a lot of people who work on minecraft now who just started making mods for the game that's 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 a wild one to me is that yeah you just just making goofy things for minecraft is a real career path to working on minecraft yeah yeah very very cool stuff yeah um, this is more the the back end that most people don't see yeah, I'm, I, so what, what level build ranks do you have to be to see here? So anybody can come here. If you go to forward slash warp AIA, Andia International Airports, uh, you can see everything here. Uh, but to build here, I think you do need to be a builder three rank. So it, it will take a little bit to rank up. Okay, so lower than on the regular world. Yes, yeah. Okay, that is yeah. interesting to know. Yeah, although we will be moving a lot of these into NDS soon. Uh, so then that rank does become specialist. I, I think you've got a hard cutoff time here. I, I had a very delightful time looking around the world. Well, thank you so much for visiting. Thank you so much for having me on.
That brings me to the end of the roughly one hour that I spent talking with Alpine One, and it is so cool to end up on a plane, and specifically the plane that I'm probably on as I <laughs> as you watch this video. Um, even British Airways too, what a fun coincidence. I thought this was an incredible look at what you can do if you have a server and a community, and there is a whole fun world that you can join if you're looking to be a part of something like that. Uh, but I also think that this is a fun reminder that projects like this are incredibly multiplayer. If you see something like this and you think, wow, I wanna build that one day, it is worth mentioning that some things just inherently require not just a few people to build it, but they require fake data. They require all sorts of planning and processes that make you realize that ultimately stuff like this is beautiful and worth looking out, but don't let it dishearten you on your own regular builds. And also in that way, I wanted to say thank you again for Alpine One for inviting me to the server and spending some time with me. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you've ever considered subscribing, please do so. It allows me to uh, speak to people and get fun access to servers like this one. But with that said, thank Thank you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.